What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. Nicholas Comedy will be spending the rest of his life in jail. In May of this year, a jury of 12 found Comedy guilty after just three hours of deliberations. Superior Court Judge Anita Sokola gave Comedy the maximum sentence by law, two life sentences, without the possibility of parole for the two counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct. I hereby sentence you, Mr. Comedy for the first charge of criminal sexual conduct's first degree felony to life without any possibility of parole for count one and for life for count two without any possibility of parole. Comedy also got the maximum for the four counts of second degree criminal sexual conduct charges, 20 years for each of the four counts with all sentences to run concurrently. For the second charge of second degree criminal sexual conduct's first degree felony, Court is going to sentence you for count one, 20 years in jail, count two, 20 years in jail, count three, 20 years in jail, count four, 20 years in jail. Kamadu, as in previous court appearances, sat expressionless as a sentence was announced. He offered no statements and continues to maintain his innocence. Assistant Attorney General Elizabeth Vassilatis. Mr. Kamadu has had the opportunity, uh, not only pre-trial, to accept a plea offer, uh, but at this point, at the sentencing and at the time that he spoke with probation, uh, to give some type, show some type of remorse for this crime. There has been nothing shown by Mr. Comedy. Uh, Mr. Comedy has refused to allocute today, and from the people's perspective, that shows that although a jury has found him guilty of all of these charges, he still is maintaining his innocence and not accepting responsibility for what 12 people in the community have found him guilty of. Although the victim did not testify today, Vasilatis lauded her for her courage in confronting her own father during his trial. And Mr. Kamadu, in short, is an individual who is an opportunist, who takes advantage of individuals. This young girl came back to testify. She flew, as the court is aware, with her mother from their location in order to stand and face her uh, her father, which she did, and Your Honor, we'd ask the court to take that into consideration, the, the brave uh, face of this young girl to come and do that. Judge Sokola says she first took into account Comedy's violent criminal history. He's been in and out of prison for the last 35 years, about 20 of which was for another rape case he committed in the 70s. The court also notes that imprisonment is necessary for the protection of the public because there is undue risk that during the period of any suspension of your probation, you would commit another crime. The court also notes you are in need of correctional treatment that can only be provided effectively by being committed to an institution like the Department of Corrections, and any lesser sentence would depreciate the seriousness of your um, crimes. He had a history of criminal activity, as noted in the pre-sentence investigation report. And finally, the most compelling factor, Sokola notes, is the victim in this case, a young girl. The uh, court notes that the defendant abused a position of trust. He is the father of the minor, the victim in this particular matter. She had testified against her father before a jury of 12. The uh, offender, Mr. Camden, committed the offense against a particularly vulnerable victim, some child, a minor.